positive feedback loop because that's the mm. one you want. You don't want the negative. Mm -hmm. You want the positive feedback loop mm. is that it's almost like you drop a rock in the water. That first yeah. loop. Yeah. Right? The, the but what ripple. happens? The ripple. The ripple. It gets yeah. Bigger and bigger mm -hmm. and bigger. Right. So that's a positive feedback loop. Mm -hmm. Once something starts. So when we're talking about feedback, we're looking at some ways mm -hmm. that we can put tools in there quickly. Right. That the students can learn from and they yeah. can start to start to notice uh, their own performance mm -hmm. without you having to be detailed sometimes. Sometimes yeah. you just kind of point them in the right direction. Mm. Okay. And so what so this all fits into with feedback and confidence. Can we get them up to uh, mm -hmm. if you're at like if you're familiar everyone with the CEFR? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, CEFR. yes, yeah. We are very familiar okay. with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when you get to a B level, which is the independent, you're in the yes. range of independent learning. You can mm -hmm. teach yourself a lot of things. It still helps to have a teacher as uh, mm -hmm. for guidance and to give you feedback, right? But mm -hmm. the confidence level, once you once you create these positive feedback loops so, and you're in the B one level, mm -hmm. uh, you said B one, yeah. Okay. Well, it, the, the, the B itself, right? But the B1, okay. you're, you're starting to yeah. recognize okay. when you say something, you can hear yourself do, oh, I made that mistake again. Mm, I said, yeah, I, I go to the store, right? I go yeah, to the store. Oh, I, yes. I know it's I went to the store, but I said go. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, if, okay. if the student is saying I go, mm -hmm. right? And they don't recognize that uh, irregular verb, if they don't recognize it, yeah. then they're likely at an A level. Right, and you as a right. teacher need to give feedback in a certain way that they mm -hmm. can practice again with the correction. Right, That's right. important. So it's not always saying, stop, you said that wrong. No, it's went. Mm -hmm. no. You can repeat it with the correction. Yeah. It is a much better way. I go to the store. Oh, really? You went to the store? Yes, I go to the store. When did you go to the store? I go to the store last Wednesday. Oh, you went to the store last Wednesday. Mm -hmm. right? and you're okay. kind of repeating with this. Right, right. Okay. And that helps more than saying, no, that's wrong. Right. It's not yeah. go, it's went. Mm. Okay. Yes. So you, mm. you repeat it so that they can hear with the mm -hmm. correction and make sure mm. that they at some point say it with the correction. Yeah. And then the feedback becomes, they will start hearing themselves say it with the correct. Mm -hmm. And then we talk about that positive feedback. Like yeah. Okay. So it's kind of connected to, to, uh, to how you give correction mm -hmm. is part of how you give feedback. Right. So uh, a couple of, uh, I don't know if everybody's teaching on line these days. Right. But a, a couple of, uh, ones that I could recommend for mm -hmm. feedback tools that you could use for feedback whether it's um, whether it's face to face or online, I'll I'll share my screen. Now, can you tell me if you see my yeah. screen? Yes, uh, that's says, a map. Uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So everyone, this is one. I'll make it a little larger. Okay. Uh, this is something called Word Wall. I don't know. Oh yeah, know. love Word Wall. It's a very popular one. Yeah. And why does Word Wall work why does it work well there's there are many good things about it obviously you know it has a gamification feeling to it yeah yeah it's fun and, and then it's fun and i can yeah. use it I, I made two here on the right side there's one mm. you know with uh, fruit on the left side it's a little bit more mature matching the countries mm. uh, with, with the names and so on so word wall i think people might associate it with young learners but you yes. can make it feel more mature yeah so I have seen university instructors use it as well. If you yeah. make it feel more mature. Exactly. So mm. what what is good about this is yes, it's gamified and yes, it's it's fun. But at the same time, it gives you instant feedback, and that's why mm. that's why games are so popular with kids, right? Because they learn right away. A lot of them don't read the instructions how to play a game. No. And they yeah. figure it out that way. Why? Yeah. Because games give instant feedback. Mm -hmm. so I'm not saying just use games full stop. What I'm right, saying right, right, right. Yeah. If you're a teacher and you're thinking, what things do I need to select to help my student? Well, does it have an element mm -hmm. of right. feedback? Right. And what kind of feedback? So when you have something like 
this one. I don't know if you can hear that. Is that loud? Yeah, it's a bit loud. Okay. Sorry, I don't know if I can control that. Right? Anyways, there are no, I won't I I won't play okay. too much, right? Because it'll be a bit loud. But basically, the students, if if you create a word wall, and I won't I won't show you now how to create it, but it's, it's quite simple. You register for a, a free account, and you know if I when I the, here I put numbers and I put the first letter of the fruit, right? Mm -hmm. And so, and and I made this uh, for my seven year old daughter. So if I were to drag these over, right, and if I get any of them wrong, well, what's going to happen is because I can submit the answers, mm. what just happened? I got instant feedback there. Yeah. yeah. I found out I got three out of five. Mm -hmm. I can play again if I want because I just had the feedback of which ones I got wrong. And mm. or I can see the answers. I can go on to the next one. Something yeah. like WordWall, which is nice, something like WordWall is that as a teacher, you can share the activities uh, with the students with a link. Yeah. Right? So, for example, if I wanted to share this one, I believe I think I can just go to here. I'll put it in the chat box, Iris, and you can share the link sure. uh, with on Facebook if you want. So, everyone, you can see there's a, there's a share here. I would click mm. this. Uh, I can share with other teachers or my students. Imagine mm. if this were for my students. I'll take this enter name. I'll just go anonymous. I won't uh, mess with any deadlines or anything right now. Okay. And I'll get a, a hyperlink that I can copy and I'll put in here. I can share this and then Iris can share that with you. So yeah. basically, I've just made a little gamified activity that the students. Uh, can mm -hmm. play they can get instant feedback if i set mm -hmm. it up so that it's you know students according to uh, a class list of students and i yeah. want to keep their how they did if i want to mm -hmm. find out how they did on their score then i'm getting the feedback from them as well mm -hmm. right so it's not it's not about just playing something that's gamified is does it have this element of feedback that the students will get and can i track how they're doing yeah. So that as a teacher, mm -hmm. I can use that feedback in my lesson mm -hmm. planning, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So in in this one, you know, perhaps uh, perhaps what I need to do, if I'm getting instant feedback from my students, and I find out that I have twenty students, and eighteen of them uh, got, uh, let's say, got the grape wrong, right? Then as mm -hmm. a teacher, I'm going to use that feedback in my lesson plan. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I think maybe one of the reasons is that mm -hmm. that lesson I only right. thought about singular. I didn't teach about plural and something mm -hmm. like this. So this is one tool that I think you could use for uh, young learners or adults, depending on how you, yeah. you shape the, the quiz itself. Right. Another one uh, that I like and I'll show it here. And this one I have not tried online, Iris, so I can't. Oh, okay. Start page. Uh, Thank you, Chris. Well, oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Start page is the browser that I'm using. <laughs> Clickers. Clickers. Oh, Clickers, yeah. Yes, right. So yeah. Clickers was popular a couple of years ago, mm. and I think I think I, I think some teachers are still using it. However, uh, we'll talk about this in creativity. I think some teachers have hit the wall on how they can use this creatively. Yeah. So generally, and I don't know people that are watching if they've if they've used or, or heard of clickers before. But what you can see, you know, is a classroom. Uh, maybe this one is better. A classroom of of uh, students holding up these uh, shapes that look like QR codes, kind of. And basically, the the teacher is going to scan with their phone uh, to get how many. Oh, right. How yeah, I've used there. that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and it yeah, logs no, as a well. teacher. As a teacher, yeah. it shows the students' answers. Mm -hmm. uh, it logs them. So you're getting instant feedback on are the students, uh, mm -hmm. like what percent of them are getting the questions right or wrong. Mm -hmm. But the students themselves, when they have these four sided shapes, yeah, on the top, it's, it goes A, B, C, D. And if yeah. I hold the shape this way, and if it's reading A at the top, mm -hmm. then the phone will scan it as A, it will put that answer into the system. Mm -hmm. And the students okay. can see if they are right or not. Right. But their class, their classmates don't know 
who answered the way they did. It's anonymous. Mm. The so it's like knows. a hoot, but much more tangible. Uh, yeah, definitely. Much more yeah. tangible because, yeah. because the students, uh, they first of all, they have to think about which way they're going to hold it. Yeah. So it, gives, it makes them think a little bit more deeply about the question, mm -hmm. how do I want to answer this? Yeah. Right? It's a more genuine answer. Mm -hmm. Let's say Kahoot is like people are hitting an answer quickly and sometimes they yeah. hit the wrong one and stuff and it's too late to change your answer. Yeah. However, in Plickers, if you hold up the card mm -hmm. and you know that you are card number seven, your classmates don't know what number you are, but you're the card number seven. You know, the teacher knows who number mm. seven is. Okay. Because in the system, they've put the name next to number seven. Yeah. But on the screen that the students are looking at, they only see the numbers. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm number seven and I held up my card and the teacher scanned it with the phone and I can see up there that number seven is wrong. Yeah. And the teacher says, okay, everyone, we're going to give you one more chance. Here's the question mm -hmm. again. Now I know I should change my card to a different side. Right. Right. And so that's giving me feedback to think about my answer again. Is that my final mm. answer? Mm, it's wrong. Mm. Okay. Well, I have three more answers to choose from. Let me think about this. The teacher said 30 seconds. Let me think about this. Okay. I think it's C. I'll change the card this way. Right. right? So this is, this is diagnostic to the student. Mm. And it's also to the teacher. I'm, I can see the percent of students that are getting the answers correct or not. So again, this has a, a gamified feeling, but the mm. underlying point is that it has this element of instant yeah. feedback and the students can see it in an anonymous way mm. so they don't feel that i'm getting something wrong in front of my classmates this goes back to confidence but that's another it's another 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 topic but being able to announce to give your answer anonymously the teacher knows but yes. in front of yes. the other students mm -hmm. that's a really powerful tool mm -hmm. right so those two I would recommend if people haven't seen or tried them. Yeah. The word walk can be done uh, sharing links. Mm -hmm. Clickers is more done face to face. I haven't tried it online yet. I'm not sure how it would how it would work, but I, I think there's some potential there. But whatever you're looking for, teachers who are out there, these two examples, the main reason I'm showing you is because of that they provide instant feedback back to the students. They don't have to wait until tomorrow to find out how they did on right. That. You don't have to wait until after the break to come mm -hmm. back and find out how they got on the quiz when it was two weeks ago and they don't remember what they answered. Yeah. 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 That's feedback, but it's not really helpful. Mm -hmm. I have no chance to change my answer. I have no chance to think about it. Right? Mm -hmm. So trying to, trying to create a positive feedback loop is kind of our, our goal. Yeah. That's when we're talking about, about feedback with adults mm -hmm. or young. Mm -hmm. Um, and another one I would like to share, and this is not so much uh, a tool like I'm showing you here. It's just a voice recorder. And some people, you might know this okay. one called Vokaroo. No, I don't and know that one. Vokaroo.com. And it's as simple as you can get. So you can see here, there's a mm -hmm. big orange button. Yeah. I will, I, will, I will record it. I'll hit record. Okay. You can see it's counting. Yeah. So right now it's, so it's recording, recording now. Voice. It's recording my voice. So imagine you had a student, uh, they were dealing with pronunciation or well, just fossilization in general. Yeah. And and they needed to hear from you mm. the correct way to say something. Yes. Maybe it's the inflection. Like a lot of a lot of people when they read English, I notice uh, the act the inflection will go up at the end of the sentence. And I tell mm. my students, wait a minute, there's no question mark there. Yeah, it was, it was period. So you're you're reading it like, I went to the store yesterday. I'm like no no no, yeah. I went to the store. Are you yesterday. wondering? Exactly. Right? Yeah. And so, but the student might not hear that, even yeah. if you keep telling them, no no no. Yeah. The question mark you can inflect up, but yeah. the statement is going down. But yeah. they need to hear it. So what mm. are you going to do? You're going to record it, your yeah. example, and then I have different ways that I can share it. So. I'll do a drop down menu here and I can save oh. it as a QR code. Oh, okay. okay. This is genius. Thank you, Chris. You're welcome. This is a, this is, this has been around for a few years, but I think people, again, we'll go back to creativity in a moment. I don't think yeah. people have thought creatively enough how to use it. Yeah, right, so I can definitely can do this, this with my P6. My P6 are like, uh, 
pretty tech savvy uh, 10, 11, 12 year old boys. Mm, so they would okay. love this. I couldn't get them to talk. Well, this is this is this is this amazing, is what you do, right? Yeah. They they record something for you. Exactly. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. And then you record with the model or with the yeah. correction. And then Iris, what you can do is so I can save it as a QR code. I can mm. download it as an MP3 if I want. Yeah. So I can have a folder on my desktop for each yeah. student with all of their MP3s. And right. I can show the progress that they've made over the year. Right. Because I saved all the MP3s. Mm -hmm. Or if I want to keep it really simple, I'll just go to the side here and I hit the copy paste button. And then I will copy and paste it. Into Genius. Thank you, Chris. Box. You're welcome. Well, thank you to whoever showed it to me. Just, I mean, it's Volkeru, whoever developed it. I can't remember where I thank saw it. Thank you for sharing. Right? You're welcome. <laughs> sharing is caring. <laughs> yes. So can you please put that in the chat box for everybody? So that is the voice recording that I just did explaining, right? Yeah. And if you open that, you'll hear the minute that I was just talking. But that will give you an idea, uh, and that will help you save the website. So I, okay. I would bookmark. I would bookmark this website. And, uh, and then so students, uh, basically, as long as they can record themselves, they can send you an MP3 or the link to the MP3 anytime, anywhere. Right? And imagine you're a really busy teacher mm. and you are not the fastest typer in the world on your keyboard. It might take you five minutes to write you know, some detailed feedback for the student. But yeah. with a voice recording, you could do it in a minute, maybe. Exactly. Them them. So you're Genius. saving a lot Love of time. This. Too, right? Good, good. So that's what I have to say about uh, feedback. Can I tell you my personal story about feedback? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chris, can you uh, stop share so then I can, oh, sorry. can, yeah, the audience can see us bigger. <laughs> <Cool>. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, well, everybody, uh, Chris and I have uh, met in 2019, July, while we were doing a mini tour um, in three different cities, right? Ho Chi Minh City, Indiana. and then Hanoi and Hanoi. Nang, mm -hmm. right? Three cities and three, three, three days and three cities. Yeah. We were flying every day and we were doing conferences every day. So that was the first time I met Chris. And then that was my very first time that, you know, I was with like other OUP people. And I was really, uh, I was more or less like really young and compared to most trainers. And, um, and then I'm not a native speaker and then I'm not white. <laughs> then, so I was super excited. And then the first thing I asked Chris, as soon as I finish is that, Chris, do you have any feedback for me? You remember that? It was at lunch. Yeah, 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 it was, yeah. It was at lunch. Me. And then uh, I remember you were really impressed that, mm -hmm. you know, that I wanted to be better and then that yeah. night when we were in Hanoi right and then you yeah. came down with your notebook <laughs> <laughs> I said are you, you sure you want it <laughs> yeah you came I down with some. your notebook set me down with Gordon <laughs> this one could have been better and why did you do this <laughs> I think I every... try this one <laughs> yeah that's that's true I, I think it's important that at, at every at every yeah. step yeah. Gordon and I both uh mm. it was feedback but we also had suggestions not just don't do this we said how about yeah. trying this give this yeah, a yeah, try. Yeah. exactly really yeah. yeah so it's just uh, the way you deliver it right and then yes. yeah, i hope i delivered well you did because the next yeah. day it was well we have it on video noticeably different what iris had had tried mm. and adapted mm. i mean she didn't do it exactly how we said and you shouldn't it's like how mm. how can i take this on board as part of how i yeah the training and make yeah. it mine but I you can still personalize see it, or, it right but that's a that's a good a, a point iris because she asked everyone and she she asked me when you asked it at lunch first i think yeah. i was surprised that you had asked actually because uh, that was like two positive. hours after we met <laughs> right and we had we didn't have time at the conference to talk about feedback no. because there are lots of people talking to you and having mm -hmm. coffee and so on and so basically two hours later was the first opportunity. Yeah. Like we hadn't even started eating yet. The food was no. still coming. I was, yeah. So like, can you give me feedback? How was it? And I said, oh, I'd love to give you feedback. Are you sure? Really? Like, are you just joking? Or, and she's like, no, I'm serious. So I said, well, actually, let's wait till tonight then. And the, like, I would like yeah. to give you more now, but it's kind of chaos in the restaurant yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But, uh, 
so let's do this uh, tonight. But the desire to get feedback was instant, mm. right? And definitely before the next presentation. Yes, because that's I wanted to be better. Happen. Well, and I still want to be better. First step. Well, yeah, everybody should be. Yeah. Probably people that are watching now, that's one of the reasons why they're there. Mm. I, I would think maybe that's the main reason. Or it could be because they've got nothing better to do. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a Facebook this, user, so I don't, I don't know why. It's or, an hour. How are we with time? We can schedule the other ones later if you want. I know you are really you. busy. You have other things to do. I'm, I'm free. I don't have no, I'm okay right now. It's, uh, I don't know how uh, I can continue. I've got more stuff to chat or if people will stick around. Um, yeah, let me see whether... Other questions? But there's definitely stuff I can talk about on the other two topics. I can go shorter if you're worried about the time. Or uh, if you don't mind, then we can reschedule the other two two different days. You know, now that yeah, we are we are like we get sidetracked and then we throw in and <laughs> on the, what? On the story. <laughs> Well, what, what, what uh, are there comments or questions there? Because everyone, I'm not watching on Facebook. I'm just doing this through Zoom. So uh, sure. No, not very, you know, um, teaching related questions. Not really. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything off the wall? Uh, I've got one that says, what a beautiful teacher. Does it count? <laughs> That's obviously for you, not me. <laughs> Any... <laughs> Well, that, you'll take that one too. Yeah. Yeah. Anything <laughs> else? Uh, not right now, but you know, sometimes people don't like tune in straight away, but then mm. they, when they watch it later, then they have more questions. Well, if I can make a couple of comments actually. So I I did look mm. through, was Iris, um, I don't know if some of the people watching are uh, from one of the courses that you did, but I had printed off, you know, some of the, the things. Oh, wow. <laughs> About, oh, about yeah it's seven pages yeah. every seven so uh but lots of information about what uh teachers yeah. in your region especially were asking right mm. and and if i could just say like for a minute if i went over some of the questions and the one mm. i focused on was the question why do you want to join this training yes and if this question were applied to now like why did you want to join today mm. the the answers that came from one of the courses that iris uh, ran, I noticed was people had used some, these are some keywords that I, I noticed. Yeah. Uh, some people had said, I want to enhance my yeah. students' learning. Mm -hmm. That suggests that you want to get better for your students. Yes. Uh, someone else said, I would like to serve my students. Very humble, very humble reason, uh, but very admirable reason, right? You want to help your students. Someone else said, I want to have a chance to learn from you. Again, that's showing that you have the right mindset to be a teacher. You want to learn so you can yeah. help other people learn. And then some people had, had put, uh, I noticed words like support, hope, mm -hmm. share. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so I think a lot, of, a lot of teachers, they do want to be, to be better. Yeah. Be better teachers. So it kind of starts with feedback for yourself too. So... Yeah. You know, if, if you are doing online teaching and mm -hmm. if you can record the lessons, if you have the students' permission to record the lessons, mm -hmm. take some time, watch yourself. That's good feedback exactly. for yourself. You know, yeah. if you're teaching face-to-face, -face, yeah. if you are allowed to video record your lesson or at least audio mm -hmm. record, mm -hmm. how do you sound? Like 20 or 30 students are looking at your face all day or they're listening to your voice all day. I think you want to know how you sound, how you look. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That's very important feedback. So set up exactly. something yeah. that you can get feedback, or ask a friend to join your lesson online, or ask if if, mm -hmm. if you can in your school, if one of your teacher friends has a, a, a free period, mm -hmm. you know, if, say, hey, do you mind dropping by my lesson? I'd like a little bit of feedback. Yeah. And that's that's really important. <clears throat> yeah, that doesn't really exist in our culture, actually. Mm. That is is such a shame. Baby steps. Yeah, you can start to introduce it slowly. Yeah, and uh, if if anybody mm. has a question, if someone says why why do you want me to come to your lesson? Well, yeah. 
watching this session the other day with a couple of teacher trainers and they were really saying it's a good idea. Mm. So I'd like to try it. Do you mind if I try it? Mm -hmm. I don't think we even have the translation of the word in Burmese. Feedback. Yeah. Well, it's time to start. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody who's watching, what is feedback in Burmese? Do we even have it? I don't think I know it. Mm. Yeah. Well, if what I tried, what I tried to establish in the beginning when we started talking was, you know, the necessary, the, the mm. necessity of feedback mm. and the hot stove analogy. Yeah. Or the microphone analogy. Yes, exactly. feedback is very important. So, mm. if you're a teacher and you've never tried it before, or mm. or thought of ways to get feedback about your students' performance, as I showed mm. you a couple of ideas here. Yeah. Uh, then you really need to consider it because. Mm. Can you teach without it? I guess, but we're talking about how can we be effective teachers? How yeah. can we be create a, an effective learning environment? Mm. Yeah, you can you can teach poorly and still get results, but are those the results that you want to get? And yeah. how much more could you mm -hmm. get? Yeah, and I think that's yeah. if you're joining us today, then you're like the the people that I mentioned from Iris's course. You know, saying I hope to be better, I want to be a better teacher for my students and stuff. So you're already making the important first step. You're showing some, mm -hmm. some interest. So just take it a little bit further. How can I start implementing feedback into my routine, my teaching routine? Yes, definitely. I've been, uh, I've been filming myself a lot um, while I was teaching, teaching kids. Mm -hmm. Like one thing, because I cannot film them, the British Council has like really strict child, uh, child protection course. policies. So yep. then I just want to see like how I am and what I look like and, you know, just uh, body language and all that. I've been filming quite a lot mm -hmm. just to see. Yeah. Well, as you mentioned about kids, mm. it is a, it is a sensitive uh, topic. So mm. you, you can still audio record yourself. I, mm. that you might need, you might need to ask permission for that, but I, yeah. Who would say no to that? There's no, you know, child mm. on the screen. If you just press audio record yeah. on your phone, and then listen to yourself mm. later, you can, you can get mm. really useful feedback, for yeah. example, how you give instructions. Mm. You know, is, yeah. my, is my voice Plus, loud enough for people yeah. to hear? Yeah, their faces are not in it, their names are not in it. So I think that should be fine. Yeah. But yeah, you're right, Chris, I, I have to check with my, um, with the child protection focal point person. Is there such a, a title? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're called the parents the parents <laughs> no 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 british council person oh there is one okay there is one yeah yeah, yeah. anything anything you record you should, mm. you should be careful but uh mm. but look into it how can you how can you get feedback for yourself and or you know if it's not mm. instant from a recording could another teacher uh, give feedback for you yeah that's possible Okay. Well, Iris, if you want to oh. do the other topics another time, I'm definitely open to it. Yes. But... Thank you so much, Chris. I'm not sure about my audience. I am learning so much. <laughs> I'm <laughs> learning so much and I'm definitely going to share, but I'm going to make, you know, I'm going to Irisify it. Okay. Because <laughs> I, I, I definitely do want to talk about uh, this guy later. Ah! Oh, wow. Okay. Is, oh, uh, yeah. There's a Most story, stories. but this is Doraemon, I don't know if anybody's in Japanese. Yes. In Doraemon Japanese is the one with anime. all the fancy tools, right? Right. And he's got this magic uh, kind of a door. Pouch. Yeah, magic pouch. And he's got this doko demo, like he can go anywhere, door. He's got the magic pouch. And mm, so it's, okay. as you can see, there's stuff written all over it. So this is a story for another time. For sure. All right. Thank you, Chris. I can't wait to hear it. Uh, some of them are saying, thank you so much. Thank you for uh, sharing some tools that are useful. You're and welcome. then yeah uh some are saying that they want to they want to take my teacher training course i recommend it <laughs> thank you chris you're welcome you, chris you're welcome. Uh, i'll talk to you in a bit okay so i'm just going to log off now yes Is that right yeah thanks okay. everybody thanks for your time thank you thank you okay. thank bye -bye. you chris bye